1 over b. Remember that b that we calculated? That guy. Times a thousand twenty five thousand seven hundred and forty nine. So it will last for about twenty five thousand cycles. We do the same thing for the next one. For so remember n one first part was infinity, n two is infinity n3 is 25,000, sorry, 250,000, sorry, 25,000 actually, 25,000 cycles. How about n4? So again, I go up here, I look that up, that's a huge cycle, 400, 300, woof. 350 megapascals is n4 for sigma m equal to 350 sorry sigma alternate equal to 350 sigma mean sigma mean 400 300 400 minus 300 is 100 so 100 is 50 so sigma mean equal to 50 which turns out to be n3 for Sigma A equals 350 divided by 1 minus 50 over 500. That turns out to be. So let's do that. Sorry, this has to be N4. So let's do that. N4. 350 equal to 350 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9 sorry three hundred and eighty eight so it's three hundred and ninety so what is the life for N4 for 390 megapascals. That we know how to calculate. N4 equals. Go back up here. We know what this was. Let's copy this whole thing. We are going to go up here, enter this thing and go up here and we are going to say, let us see, 390, the rest of the stuff is the same, whoops, this will last for 3147 cycles if it were a distress. So now let us look at it. We had the following. So I am going to write this out. There were four stress levels. In six seconds, stress level one, sigma mean, sigma alternative, n. Sorry, n and life. So let us see. Stress level 1, 88, 63, how many cycles were there? 1, 2 cycles at that. So this was 88, 63, it ran for 2 cycles in 6 seconds, the life was essentially infinity. The second one was 2. 75, 125. So, sigma mean was 75, sigma alternating was 125, and number of cycles was 3, life was infinite. Third one, 
225 number of cycles uh, is 2 and then its life was actually finite it's about 25000 and the fourth one type 3 type 4 350-50 and it ran for only one cycle and its life was only 300 sorry uh, let's see 3100 that's the life okay so now we can calculate how long will it last so in every six seconds Damage in 6 seconds. Equals 1 over 6 times. Damage per second is 1 over 6 times. Let us see. 2 over infinity. Plus 3 over infinity. So, these. I keep. So, 2 over infinity, 3 over infinity, we do not care. Plus 2 over 25,000 plus 1 over 3100 that's the damage per second which turns out to be again i'm going to do this calculation so i'm going to switch over here i'm going to do this calculation i'm going to say okay it is 1 over 6 times 2 over 25000 plus 1 over 3100 What's that? 6.719 times to the minus 5. So, seconds for complete damage, life will be equal to 1 over that. 14,903 seconds. 14,903 seconds. So, you can compute that divided by 3600. 4 hours. It is going to last 4 hours and then it is dead. Right? All of this calculation to figure out that if you cycled it this way with this particular cycling scheme, you could say that it will last at least 4 hours with this particular cycling. Okay. How good is this calculation? Well, it is ok if the cycles are not too much, uh, you know, but it may be a reasonable estimate. So, let us not, let us not think it is all that great, but let us see how we do it. But the main point which I want you to understand is everything lies in this graph. Okay. So, this is our sigma a prime, sigma ut, sigma f prime. Once you have those three things, everything else follows. Okay. Thank you.